NASA took its next big leap today with the first crewed launch of the Starliner spacecraft. After years of setbacks and delays, the Boeing spacecraft finally took off this morning. And the two astronauts on board are now heading to the International Space Station. Fox 13's Kate Craig Patrick covered the launch and is tracking Star Starliner's progress from Kennedy Space Center. Well, Starliner blasted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station just on the other side of the water from our viewing spot here at Kennedy Three, Space Center. Two, one, ignition. And lift off. And of take Starliner a look at the Atlas blast off. An Atlas V rocket American launched heroes. the first crewed Final flight of Starliner at 10.52 as planned this morning. It's scheduled to arrive and dock at the International Space Station tomorrow afternoon. And if it performs as NASA and Boeing hope and expect, NASA will finally have the private competition it wants and may need to take much bigger leaps. And our direction is the same as always, onward and upward. Our government outsourced flights to low Earth orbit so NASA can focus on sending astronauts back to the moon with plans to build a permanent moon colony and future crewed flights to Mars. So when NASA picked two private companies to help take over shuttling astronauts to the International Space Station, Boeing was a logical choice. It had worked with NASA on the Apollo missions and the space shuttle and the space station and more. But in designing, building and testing Starliner, Boeing hit a lot of snags and delays. While the other private company NASA picked SpaceX met or beat expectations. SpaceX successfully launched its first crewed test flight four years ago and has launched eight operational crewed missions since. Meanwhile, Boeing Starliner had one glitch after another as its jet passenger division also faced scandal over the 737 MAX 8 disasters and more recently the door plug blowout on a 737. So this successful launch of the Starliner can change the narrative for Boeing to that of a great American comeback. It can revive Boeing's image and expand NASA's crewed fleet if the crewed launch successfully docks with the space station and safely returns to Earth. With this Starliner launch, we'll have two spacecraft flying people to the International Space Station, um, and that'll give us both redundancy and just flexibility um, in our space station operations, sending more people to space, doing more science on the International Space Station. You just got back from the space station after several months in April. How will these astronauts fit into the mix? Uh, they have a busy schedule on board. They'll only on, be on board for eight days, so they're going to get up there and get right to work. This is a test flight. NASA and Boeing expect to have some issues that these veteran astronauts and former Navy test pilots can identify and work through in flight. That's why we put two test pilots on board. And, of course, the resumes of Butch and Sonny uh, are extensive. We do not have a path to proceed further at this point. The Starliner had planned to launch on May 6th. That was postponed due to a buzzing rocket valve. And then while fixing that, they discovered a small helium leak from a valve or seal on the spacecraft. They decided to launch without fixing that helium leak because they said it's a minor leak and helium's a stable gas and just part of a thruster system that can still work even if the helium components fail. Well, Starliner scheduled to return in less than two weeks, landing in the desert of New Mexico. At Kennedy Space Center, Craig Patrick, Fox 13 News.